students get exposed to some a, a very unique type of training, something that I'm pretty sure not a lot of undergraduate students uh, could be part of. I would have been a junior in college, I believe. At that time, there were severe outbreaks of what's called uh, porcine circovirus-associated uh, disease. And so we started with doing field trials uh, to test a vaccine. Essentially, it just grew from there to where the BRI was just, you know, being finished. And so at that time, they needed, needed animal work to be done in the BRI. So we had the opportunity to do uh, an experimental trial in there. We were one of the first people actually to go in there. Uh, we were kind of just testing their facility, making sure everything worked correctly and as planned. And uh, so essentially we weren't, we weren't working with a biosecurity level three agent. We were working with biosecurity level two just to make sure that everything was working correctly. I just graduated uh, my, in my bachelor's degree in science in food science and industry in May. And I'm planning to be a grad student in the fall of this year. I got involved with the BRI through Dr. Phoebus. I started working for Dr. Phoebus uh, two years ago, and I am part of his team currently here at uh, the Cole Hall Food Safety and Defense Laboratory, which is a BSL-2 laboratory. Not very long after I started working at the lab, uh, he decided to train his team for the BRI in case uh, he needed help with any projects that may be taking place there. I briefly participated in a research project called the Big Grind. It is a project which involves understanding how foodborne pathogens get distributed during um, ground beef manufacturing process. I was mostly assisting with uh, getting things ready for the project. It was extremely exciting. I mean, you know, these are opportunities you don't have that most undergraduate students don't have. So uh, very exciting for me. Yes, I learned a lot. First of all, I learned that uh, BSL-3 is much different than BSL-2. There's more caution exercise. The design of the facility is different. The personal protective equipment that you have to wear during performing research there is completely different. And um, to me, it was a very, very unique experience and I really enjoyed it. Learning uh, the procedures necessary to work in the BRI with uh, you know, BSL-3 pathogens, uh, really that's, that's that's kind of translated back, you know, to what we do in the BSL-2 facilities. So we're a lot more cautious about containment, um, biosafety, biosecurity. So, uh, you know, this will follow me for the rest of my life.